Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is MLB 17 the show road to the show with Rashad Bolden this is episode 131 as we are getting ready for this series here it's a new week and it's a uh, beginning of the week series for us as we get ready to take on the Cincinnati Reds today representing the National League Central as the Padres are 37 and 28, third place right now in the NL West, as you see there on the screen. Just four games behind the Diamondbacks, and of course, we have been uh, just trying to chip away at their uh, lead they have on us, and just trying to get back, try, back up to the, uh, try to get to the top spot here in this division. Now, as for uh, the Reds, right there, you see just 11 and a half games out of first place. And they are being led by the Pirates. So there you see the last 10 games what Bowman has done. Three home runs, five RBIs, 14 hits, and hitting near 350 there for the season. Now, Bowman's only player right now who is uh, has 30-plus home runs. As he has 37 for the season so far. And right now, the only two players that's close to him is Adam Jones of the American League. Of course, Baltimore Orioles center fielder. And then also the shortstop of the Dodgers. Uh, Hanny Ramirez, who has 20. So both guys have 20, and Bolden is just kind of running away with the home runs. Also, right now, he's up. Uh, right now, as of today, he has the uh, triple crown. If the season would have ended today, uh, he would have the hit it, uh, the uh, hits, or I should say average home runs and RBIs. But we'll see here. To, uh, runners on first and second here on this play. Third base, and he can't make a play, but he does uh, just get enough time there to get himself together there and throw that one over to first, get Bolden out on that play, and that is it for Bolden on that one. Now, go to 13 here. We'll see here he's got a runner's on second and third, and he's going to go ahead and be told that he will give the sign here to intentionally walk him. So they're going to go ahead and give him the walk sign here as they know what he can do here there with that powerful bat of his. And uh, Clobber uh, hits over the wall. So we'll go to the sixth inning here now. It's a one nothing ball game as Reds lead it here. And we'll see that Bolden will go ahead and he will go after that pitch right there. And, yeah, that's going to cost him. Is That's going to just be a fly right there, pop fly there for the catcher. And that's going to be it for that at bat. Now we'll go to the eighth inning. 0-2 count for Bolden as there's to nobody on board and two outs. And Bolden swings at this one. This one is high and deep. And he's trying to say... Go fair, but that one looks like it end up. It kind of just uh, went over to the foul side there. Now you got the ret or the ump I should say, over there discussing this, and then you see Votto. And I really hate when players do this, even in real life. They go over there and trying to you know get in involved in the decision here of the umpires, which you know you're the player. You're not the umpires. This this is not your call. So. Votto, they tell Votto to kind of walk off, you know, go away. And they decide, yeah, it's going to be a foul ball. So they call it off. They say it's a foul ball. And Bolden is going to have to come back to first base. So Bolden 0-2 count here. He gets another shot here to try to do something. And he will as he will hit this one over to shallow left field. That will be a base hit. And that will get him on board here as Santana there gives up a hit. Now Bolden hits a nine-game hitting streak there for himself. Nice job. We'll see if he can continue that here. As you see now, Jackie Span coming up to bat over three. And he's going to be up to bat here. He has a good chance to get Bolton home here as he has a one two count. Bolton off the bag just a little bit there. Bolton's going to go ahead and take off here. He's going to bolt for second base, and he gets there on time there. Nice job. Good jump. And that would be a stolen base there for him. I, I kind of don't know off the top of my head exactly how many stolen bases here. I know he has a little over 20 right now, I think in the stolen base department there so for the season so we'll go ahead and move on here to the next at bat here same batter jackie span and we'll see here the the next uh, pitch here and then you see a ball in the dirt there and all oh, that time they got bolder there on that one i kind of have to disagree on that one i don't think they did but i'm say they did at third base and you know, we'll just take the call there so We'll see the Reds will go ahead and win this one here. They'll hold on to that one nothing lead, and they'll win this one one to nothing. So a shutout there for the Reds. They get this victory here. Bolden gets a nine game hitting streak there, going for himself, going one for three in the ball game with a double, or excuse me, with a um, stolen base and also a walk there for him today. So 
not what he was wanting or not what the uh, San Diego fans was wanting out of him today. But, yeah, he's uh, he's been kind of struggling here at the plate here as of late. He's just been trying to want to change that here as of late. As, of late, as uh, they just try to just, just try to muster up some wins. So, there you see 37-29 for the season right now for the uh, Padres as they – just trying to stay alive and try to keep ahead above water here in the division. As you see Bolden just swinging there just before the game. You see he's going against Joey Quate, uh, Johnny Cueto there today. Uh, 0 for 1 here for Bolden as he gets that one. 0 1 count. That one is going to go ahead and bounce off or off the wall out there. That is going to get a stand up double there for him. Nice job. And they have runners now in scoring position here. So nice job there for the Padres. Move on here. It's tied 1-1. 2-2 count here and two outs for Bolden. So the deuces are wild. Bolden hits this one up the middle there. He's going to try to outrun this one. The shortstop there. Nice job there. Zach, uh, uh, I can't, uh, K- uh, Castle, Queso, Queso. I can't even think of his name off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, he ends up getting Bolden out on that one. Now, go to the sixth inning here, and Bolden gets all this right here. That's a solo shot there for him as he breaks up this tie, and it's now a 3-2 ball game. Padres lead this one. There you see the home run sign right there, the graphic out there, and that big LED, LED board out there underneath the Petco sign there. Out and left. That's going to be a nice hit there as he hits his 38th of the season now, leading them both American League and National League in home runs. There you see the fans. They love it. And there you see the much love he is getting from his fellow uh, Padres players. As, uh, yeah, again, Bolden just finds his pitch here this time right there in dead center, right there in the sweet spot. And, yeah, he just takes it and just Puts a nice charge on that one, sending that one over the wall there and into left. So nice job, as you see here. Again, a little bit of a reminder here as we take a look, getting ready for his next at bat here. As, yeah, we've just seen that now, just moments ago. Bolden getting his 38th of the year. Now, he's actually on pace here. Uh, he could, you know, by the, I think by, I think if I, correctly calculated this i think by uh, all-star break he should be like maybe 10 or like 20 something away from uh the home run all-time home run record so i see there he tried to outrun that one couldn't do it but padres will win this one a final score four to two is your ball game uh but yes i think on pace, I think he's on pace to have at least set or at least close to uh, what was it 60, 60 something or no, was it no 30, 45, 47 by the break or close to the break? Uh, I want to actually, I think it's 50. I don't know, I have to go look again, but uh, yeah, Bowling goes two for four in that ball game. He uh, extends his hitting streak now 10 games. And we'll see there, talking to the manager there, the hitting coach actually, uh, talking about his great hitting he's had. So, 10-game hitting streak there for him. He hit his 38th home run of the season. And, man, he's on fire right now. So, we'll see here we guess we go to the next final game here, actually, of this series. He, there's one out, and he's going to be up to bat here in the bottom of the eighth. As we'll take a look here, he's going to pitch, hit, and... He has a great uh, situation here for himself. Now, he's going to get nobody on board. He has one out. He's going to hit this one up the middle there. That is going to extend the hitting string now to 11. Nice job there from Bolden as he gets on board here. And Hoover, yeah, just does not like that at all. And Bolden there, you see 11 games now up on the bags now here as he's now hit safely 11 times here in a ball game. Now we'll go ahead and see here. Garcia will be up to bat, and Bolden will be on first base here. Just get out the bag just a little bit here. Take a little bit of a step. Oh, but they go back and have him run back the, the bag, and he gets tagged out there. Uh, I don't know. I think this is another glitch that they found or they haven't found yet in this game because I've noticed that as soon as I just get off the bag just a little, it could be with a guy that you know doesn't have, you know, um, a aggressive base run or anything like that. Uh, but 
yeah, just if he just gets off the back just a little bit there, they'll throw it there, and you'll be just tagged out. I mean, even if you made it there t- on time, uh, I don't know. The animation, I think, is just messed up. I think if, you know, guys from, you know, it will be the show. If you guys, San Diego Studio, you guys are watching this, which I am pretty sure you're probably not. But if you are, you guys got to fix the animation there. That just that really irks me right there. But we'll see here that uh, that we do end up, uh, we don't win the series there against Cincy. And we have to put that one away. Just kind of wipe that away from our minds here as we get ready for the next series coming up. And actually, it's going to be a road trip here. We'll have a road trip series coming up in this next episode. As we will take on this, the uh, Brewers and the Cubbies. I've been playing against the Brewers a lot here <laughs> in Rose Show and in uh, and also in the St. Louis. Well, of course, it makes sense St. Louis uh, Cardinals franchise, but just been a lot in the Rose Shows here as of late. So we'll see how we do against those guys here coming up in the next episode. You guys, uh, st- please stay tuned for more Road to the Show with the Shot Bolton as we get on to episode 132 and take on the Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Whites or Chicago Cubbies coming up here in the next episode. So it will be a two game series that we'll have in that episode and uh, we'll see we'll, or two series uh, six game episode there I should say uh, coming up here and we'll see what we can do there on the road. So we'll see if the Padres can try to you know get back on the winning track here and try to get some wins here so they can get back and uh, try to stay uh, just stay afloat here in the uh, NL West. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Road to the Show with Rashad Bolton here on ESGN Net. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves together healthy, and I will see you guys next time.